So your dad gets out of prison and he sees that you're acting up. And what was dad's plan to get you on the right track? What did he do? What did dad do? Uh, he did what any dad tried to do. Tell me, stay out of trouble. He, I get into some more trouble. And now I'm on house arrest. This is all during your high school years. Yeah, from freshman year to my senior year. What was dad's plan to get you on the right track? What did he do? What did dad do? Uh, he did what any dad tried to do. Tell me, stay out of trouble. He did more than tell you. He showed you. But from, so once I'm on house arrest, he gets mad. Dude, look, before I let them try to give you uh, two years of juvenile hall, you gonna listen to somebody. That was his exact word. So we had a bathroom. Bathroom really wasn't that big. Five by five? Five it's by five eight? Five o'clock in the morning to about seven o'clock at night. I was in that damn bathroom. Locked in, ba Locked ba in bathroom the bathroom prison. Like, like I was in jail. And he kept, dude, you want to keep getting in trouble? You're going to listen to somebody, but you're going to listen to me I'm all. Did that change your life? Did it get you on the right track? So what was funny was, as a punishment, one day he said, dude, cut my hair. Cut my hair. I'm like, I don't even know how to cut. And you're mad at him. And I'm hot. Now, I'm going to fuck this shit up right here. I'm getting out of there that last month because I started cutting his hair and he thought it was going to be a punishment, but I ended up loving it. And my uncle see me start cutting hair. So I start cutting my uncle. I start cutting my little cousins. I start cutting them. I'm like, and then it turned into. Shit, something I love. This is really shit. Man, that's this is a, like therapy. Right that's here. a beautiful story. And where can people find you? Man, they, you guys can find me at Oak Barber Studios.